welcome back to the Fitness Five channel. So today we're going to be looking at my car bag, and I've already shown my Core EDC. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to go back watch that. This is also what some people call my True EDC because I literally carry it every day. And also, I've also already done a video on my EDC pouch, and this will not be classed as a True EDC because I do not wear this every day all the time. Um, basically, if I'm not leaving my property, I don't have this on my person, and so I still call it my EDC pouch. Um, but anyways, when I was doing this video, several people uh, requested that I play the small little honer, uh, harmonica that I carry in my EDC pouch. And so a little fun fact about this, it's called The Little Lady, and this was the first instrument played in space. In 1965, an astronaut took it up with him into space, and he played jingle bells on it. And so, kind of interesting. Alright, so it has eight reeds, as you can see the holes are really small, and so accuracy, accuracy is not the best. But I'll go ahead and I'll try my best for you. All right, so it's pretty fun uh, as long as as long as the song is within one octave from C to C, then it's fairly easy to play. You can play by by numbers, by notes. But anyways, let's go. Let's get into my car bag. All right, so the bag is, it's a Vanquist, a Husky. Uh, it's called a Maximizer, if I'm not mistaken. All right, and I like it for the way that you're able to organize. Um, you have all these elastic loops, and so you can easily um, organize things so they're not just kind of freely floating around. And so we'll start from the left, and we'll work to the right. So I have some bug repellent. And here I have a bucker, I'm sorry, boker. Um, it's a tactical pin, All right? So the tip has the tungsten carbide. This is used for breaking glass. Like if you're stuck in your car, um, you can't get out. And space you use this and you'd smash the window. It actually does really well on breaking glass. All right, and then the tip is used to be tactical, okay? So you have a kind of a Kubaton style, all right? And then of course, naturally also has the ink pin on the inside, all right? If you guys are interested in seeing a review about some of the different tactical pins and EDC pins that I have and that I carry, let me know about that in the comments. I'll be sure to do that. All right, then here we have, uh, this is a WD-40 pin. So you see the tip is kind of like wooden and it's saturated with um, WD-40. And so basically whatever you want it to lubricate, you would just kind of, you tap on it like this and it lets out, you can see the lubricant, all right? And again, there's lots of lots of use for your WD-40, you know, for like removing stickers, sticky things, um, the natural, you know, use of it for like oiling. All right, then here we have the Titan cord. Now, in my previous video, my EDC pouch, I showed you about the Titan cord, um, but I want to do maybe a bit better demonstration this time. All right, so I showed you this big, uh, uh, basically all this 550 cord I have here. And so this time what we're gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna open, piece it up, I can access it, there we go. Use this knife. All right, I'll get to this knife later. So I'll just put it back here. All right, so inside, like I said in the previous video, there are seven, seven strands Okay, kind of like what normal 550 cord has. I'm going to put this over here. It's just this sheath. All right, so you have seven strands, but also what's unique about this is that you have 30 gauge uh, copper wire, and also you have fishing line, okay, which can be used for natural use of fishing. You can use it for making snares. Uh, same thing with the copper wire. You can use this for small game snares. I'll put this over here to the side. And then here we have the seven strands. I believe they're nail nylon. I'm not sure exactly what what material this is. So six of them are white, and one has like a red, some red in it basically. And again, it's just for different uses. All right, this I wanna show you. So this is waterproof. So I have a cup of water here. It's waterproof, it's like waxed. And so we'll dip that in here, let that soak. And I'll go ahead and take out this Bic, which by the way, fun fact, let me know down in the description, did you know that Bics are made in France? And so you can see on here, made in France. So if you knew that, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. <laughs> All right, so we let that sit in the water a bit. And I'll show you how easy it is to light. All right, so just like that. 
But honestly, that's not all that impressive. Okay, you gotta agree with me. A lot of things will burn, okay? So what I did off camera is I, I kind of shredded this and I fluffed it up a bit. And what I'm doing, going to do is use I have this ferrosim rod, which also in the previous video, a couple people commented about the way that I, I pronounced some of the words. And so thanks for pointing that out. All right, and what we're going to do is I'm going to scoot this over to the side a bit. And so like I said, I already fluffed this up. And so now what we need to do is just cast a spark on it. Oh, it almost, almost got it for my first try here. Sticking. All right, there we go. So you got a nice good flame going. All right, so that wasn't too difficult. It'd be easier without the camera right in front of my face. Let's not go ahead and put this off, off camera. All right. So we have, like I said, that ferrosium rod and a little striker for it. All right, so that the Titan Survivor Cord is really cool. Um, so it has several features in it with all those different strands inside. All right, and then this is the UCO Stormproof Match. And so we're gonna test this also because it claims to be waterproof. So we're gonna just drop it in this, in this cup of water and we're gonna wait and let this sit until towards oh, a bit later on, basically we'll get, come back to this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna test and see if it'll start. And then also we're gonna test and see if we can drown the match in the water. Because supposedly you can stick it back in the water and it'll still keep burning underwater. All right, then also here we have um, just some, some standard duct tape. And I've just basically folded it over itself and it doesn't take up much space like that. And it still comes unstuck, if that's even a word. Similar to that, I have some Gorilla Tape. It's a bit stickier. And also I've rolled it up around a um, chopstick. All right, then here we have some Listerine um, strips. And okay, that's kind of got self-explanatory. All right, so now we're back to the knife. So the knife is super thick. It's a super heavy knife. Um, the back of it, is also really thick as far as for a pocket knife goes. Whenever it's opened, it feels more like a, it doesn't feel like, like, a, like a folding knife. It feels like a, you know, a usual full frame per se, I guess you could say, uh, blade. So really nice. And another thing about it that I like is the ability back here to attach this. And then here I have, this is a universal socket. And so it goes from a quarter inch, all up to three quarters of an inch or seven millimeters up to 19 millimeters. So you can snap it on there, just like that. And you can use it basically, you can get some good torque whenever you're trying to open up a lot of, a lot of different options here with the, uh, with the multi sockets, the universal socket, I'm sorry. All right, and then back here, also I have this little set. Same thing, it goes into here, attach it like that. And then you have some different uh, bits that you can use. Okay, so we have like the, the Phillips and the square ones the Torx and the flat, all right? And so it makes the knife kind of extra, like a double purpose, some extra use to it like that. All right, also, this goes with that Stormproof Match, okay, so it's a UCO, so we'll use that a bit later when we get to that. All right, then also I have these gloves. And if you've ever been doing, uh, if you've ever done a job where you need gloves, then you understand the actual use for them. Um, and so it's, it's nice to carry. I enjoy having them in here. All right, and I have a spare mask in case I'm ever any, any, anytime anywhere without my mask and I need it. All right, so that's all for this half. And so I'll go ahead and I'll fold this over, just kind of save some space. All right, next up here is the Night Core. This is the Night Core LA10. All right, and it works as a lantern. Okay, so you can do like that. And then this gets brighter. And then the last feature is as actually as a beacon. And so you can attach it to the back of your car, you know, and basically help you be noticed. The other nice thing is the tail is magnetic. And so if you're working on like your car, you can hook this to the hood and, and so on. Also, this is AA battery. I know there's a lot of people go, go back and forth between uh, AA or like a lithium rechargeable. Um, and so actually I have a, 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 sorry, I have a flashlight coming and it's a hybrid. And so it has both the lithium rechargeable battery and a AA battery. And so be sure to 
Keep your eye out for that video. It should be coming pretty soon. All right. Next up, we have a Sharpie marker. Again, natural, makes sense. Okay, then use is self-explanatory. Then we have some goo gel. And now this is, just like I said, some energy gel. It kind of helps whenever your sugar's low or you know you just need like a small kind of something to hold you over because it has some amino acids in it. It's good for after you work out, like if you've been running or so on. So anyways, it's also, it's great to have in a kit like this. All right, let's go and go for the toothbrush. And um, if you've ever like had like a dentist appointment, then it's after lunch and you know what I, you, you know that you're going to need a toothbrush basically after you eat lunch, you're going to go to the dentist. And so it's, it's also, it's great to have a spray little toothbrush in your pack, a right, little sewing kit. You got the different colored threads, the needles, the safety pin, buttons. All right, and this is another thing we're going to get to a bit later. This is a, a wire saw. And so what you do is you grab onto these rings right here. And when you want to cut something, you just basically you, you pull back and forth. And so I'll demonstrate that a bit later. And also I'll show you how you can use something like these. You stick them into the, the loops and it creates like a handle. And so you can actually get a better grip whenever you're sawing. But anyways, I'll get back to this. I'll set something up and we'll cut through it towards the end of the video. All right, and then this is a prying tool. Quite simple. You have your prying thing. You got a cutting, like, kind of like a seat belt cutter per se, a little bottle opener and some other, um, maybe some other tools here that honestly I wouldn't really use. Um, I have more dedicated tools other than using this for like, like opening up a, a bolt or something. So anyways, it's still nice for the prying, the prying feature of it. And then underneath here, we have an anchor. This is a 10,000 milliamp hour um, power bank. And I have a USB-C cable and a micro USB cable. So in today's day and age, you know, constantly, you know, you need to get something charged up. And so it's great to have that also in a, in a pack like this. All right, that has some, some earplugs. And these are uh, true utility fingernail clippers. Let's put this over here somewhere. All right, then here we have, this is a Kershaw. And it's kind of like a, what they call them, a spork, I guess you'd say. So you get your spoon here and your fork over here. And I used to carry this in my EDC pouch, but I didn't like the shape. It actually ended up taking a lot more space than I thought it would. And so I like the cold forged uh, set that I carry now. So if you haven't seen my EDC pouch video, be sure to go back and see that. All right, then also I have this Gorilla. It's a USB drive. And so I keep some, some of my more important files on here. Gonna have them with me. All right, then I have this whistle. It's good for signaling, getting attention. And a P38. This is a can opener. So what you do is you attach the lip of the can right here and the sharp part you put in and you just start working your way around it. If I thought about it, I could have done a demonstration of that too. It's okay. I'm sure it's quite simple to understand. I got some rubber bands. And this is kind of what they call a ranger band. And all I did is I, I just took like an old bicycle tire uh, tube, I'm sorry. And I cut this ring out. And this is really, it's like really strong. And so it's good for like you know, clamping things down, uh, holding some gear, gear together and so on. I then have a nail file. And this is... There's a lot of different uses for this, for filing things down, but also a lot of times my wife will ask for this out of my pack if she has like a broken fingernail or a hangnail or something like that. All right, then we have, this is soap. And it's just like one little, what would you call it? It's like a sheet, I guess you could say, a sheet of soap. It's about the thickness of a, like a rose petal. And so let's say you're working on your car, you're fixing things up and you got your hands all dirty and Basically, what you can do is you can just get some water in your hands and you rub this on, you got your soap. All right, now have some insect repellent. Um, this is like a wet wipe that you would use and just kind of wipe yourself down to make the bugs leave you alone. All right, then also I have, um, this is a knot guide. It's something that I've, a lot of times I find myself doing this whenever I'm sitting in the car and I'm bored. I'll get out some some cord or I'll unravel my, my 550 cord 
and just kind of practice some different knots. And so it's nice having this. Um, but then also, if you, in like more of an emergency situation, you know, if you don't memorize the knots, you can use this and find a knot that, that matches your need. All right, then I have this right in the rain. And if you haven't ever seen what the right in the rain is like, let me pour some water on here. Try not to get my gear wet. There we go, I like that. All right, so what it does is the water just kind of beads up and rolls away from it. All right, and it's like you, like you rub on it and stuff. The paper doesn't get wet. And so watch, I'll just shake this off. And you can see the page is still dry. All right, and so no damage to the page. So it's nice, um, really thin, and it's a great, great item to keep to have. Like even if you're just trying to start a fire, you don't have tinder. Okay, you can use the pages, you can burn them. All right, and then I have this emergency thermal blanket. Also something that's really compact, but ha has a lot of use to it. You can use it for both, both for signaling because it is really shiny on the inside, the silver part. And actually, I used one of these before. Uh, we were out hiking, and we jumped into a glacial uh, lake. And so the water was super cold, and so we got out and just kind of wrapped ourselves up in these kind of blankets. And you could literally feel your own heat kind of radiating back. And so these actually work really well. And also, you could set this up with the 550 cord. You could make a really primitive, um, like a shelter, basically. It's not going to be comfortable like sleeping in a tent. But nonetheless, you could set up something to get yourself out of the rain, things like that. All right, so the bag is empty now, so that's everything. And so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get to this, this match. It is thoroughly soaked now. Let me go to moose and stuff around so we get you close to the center. All right, so you can see this is thoroughly soaked. So I'm just gonna, gonna wipe it off. I'm not even on, on material, just off my hand, just kind of make sure I have water standing on it. Grab the striker. There we go, it's hiding from us. Okay, we made this tip. Maybe a couple of strikes here. Also not very convenient having the, uh, the camera in front of me. All right, so I'm kind of wiping off the, the moisture part of the tip. All right, so for about how long was our video? Uh, it's been about you know 15 minutes or so. This has been in the in the water. You see that lit? It wasn't super easy, but wasn't hard. So let's go and see if we can put it out in water. And come on, relight. There we go. It relit. I kind of blew it a little bit. Let's try it one more time. It sure does smoke a lot. That's for sure. All right, so that was really, that was really cool. Oops, I right, got this off the table. So you can see those really are waterproof. We were able to soak it in water and then still light it. Like you saw, it took a couple of strikes against the, uh, against that striker, but we still were able to get it lit. We were able to submerge it back in water for like a second or so, and then it came back out and it lit on fire again. So anyways, that's really nice. Um, I'll, I'll be sure to include all the links to this kind of gear down below. And so you make it easy for you to find it. All right, next thing we're gonna test that I said is this uh, saw wire. And so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pause this recording and I'm gonna set up uh, a stick here for us to cut on. All right, so I have set up this stick right here. It's in a vise. And we have our, our saw. So, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and grab these, run them through the hoop, like this. And let's go ahead and use this to saw. <laughs> All right, so just like that, you give approximate size of, about the size of my thumb, it'll focus. There we go. All right, I'm gonna get the camera back up top and we'll continue. All right, so that is everything. So that's how this little saw performed. And so you can see, as much space as it takes, it really, really works pretty well. So you can use that for 
basically yeah, for cutting down uh, branches or you know whatever else all right that is all for this bag and so in the next video we'll either be doing a survival kit in a bottle all right so kind of a sneak peek at that so we can do that or we can do a trauma kit and so in the description below be sure to make your choice which you'd rather see next you want to see the survival kit in a bottle or you're interested in seeing the trauma kit all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe